um, as you watch this individual slowly, um, slowly decline and then come to the point um, where they no longer can speak, no longer can walk. Those are some of the symptoms of Alzheimer's, a disease that now affects 6 million Americans. Medical researchers around the world have been working for decades to find a cure, and a doctor in Boston is getting closer. A new nasal vaccine trial is underway. Reporter Jacinta Render spoke to advocates and caregivers about what this means for patients, families, and their future generations. Beth, the doctor who's been doing this research on this vaccine describes it as a remarkable milestone in human clinical trials. Advocates and caregivers say that this is hope for the future and uh, this is closer to a cure. Darren Kidwell is a full time caregiver to his 84 year old father who was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about six years ago. He says at first he was in denial. Oh, no, this can't be. Not my daddy. Not my daddy. He's perfectly healthy. He says with his father, Leon, the disease is slowly progressing. One of the main symptoms he's noticing is short-term memory loss. Uh, he can tell you things he did in 1965, but he can't remember what he did 65 seconds ago. For decades, doctors have been doing research to find a cure and now could be getting closer. Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts is in the early stages of a nasal vaccine trial that is meant to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's. For people like Kara Phillips, who have lost parents to the disease, this vaccine is for future generations. Oh my gosh, to think that my children, who are 26 and 21, that they wouldn't have to witness me go through that. Health experts say our immune systems play a huge role in fighting off diseases, and the nasal vaccine consists of proteins that will help the body fight Alzheimer's. The trial is scheduled to last for six months, with 16 participants between the ages of 60 and 85. Just think, if we could, all of us, get a vaccine for Alzheimer's disease and never have to worry about losing our memories, our dignity. If clinical trials in humans show the vaccine is safe and effective, this could represent a non-toxic treatment for people with Alzheimer's. And it could also be given early to help prevent Alzheimer's in people at risk. Beth? All right, Jacinta, with the update there, thank you.